Hey everybody, Nathan Gerald's here from the Holly Theater. I just wanted to take a minute and let everybody know that we're still here. We are still working to create great theater here at the Holly in Dahlonega, and we cannot wait until we are able to open our doors again to our community. However, we are going to have to make some changes to our upcoming programming here at the theater, and I wanted to fill you in on those changes. Before I do that, I wanted to say a heartfelt thank you to our Holly community that is still out there fighting on the front lines for us every day. We have several volunteers and patrons that are in the medical community and in uh, other essential positions that are still going to work every day and putting their own lives at risk. And I just wanted to say thank you from all of us here at the theater for what you are doing. Now, as you know, we've already rescheduled or canceled a couple of events. Fortunately, the theater came into this time period in relative financial stability. The Holly Board has worked really hard over the past few years to make sure that we could weather a storm like this, and we are in pretty good shape. However, our main source of income is still ticket sales to, to events here at the theater. And the longer that we stay closed, the more that is gonna hurt our bottom line. It's going to hurt our future here at the theater. So I'm asking if at all possible, if you have the means during this time to donate any kind of funds um, to the theater to help us keep our doors open, we would greatly appreciate that. You can find out details on our website if you wanna make a donation. In the meantime, we are offering some virtual opportunities. We are experimenting some with some online performances. Details are gonna come out on our, on our Facebook and Instagram pages about those opportunities. So please stay up to date with that and engage with us as we produce content still here at the theater. The first thing that suffered during our time period of social distancing and shelter in place was High School Musical. The kids were ready to perform the week that social distancing was put into place. And I really hate that the kids weren't able to put on the show that they have worked so hard to do. Due to scheduling conflicts and constraints with our schedules here at the theater, we just are not gonna be able to squeeze that show in in any other time period and be able to bring that same cast together in order to do it. So that show has been canceled. We do hope to be able to highlight the cast some way sometime soon in the future. We also had to cancel several concerts and we postponed those. We put them uh, later on in the year and all those new dates are on our website. So you can check out uh, if you have tickets for those concerts, you can see what the new dates are by looking at our website. Our next main stage show was going to be Ripcord and it was going to open in early May. Since shelter in place has already been extended through the end of April, it's become very clear that the cast is just not going to have time to adequately rehearse the show in order to perform it in May like it was scheduled. So we are gonna reschedule Ripcord for January 15th to open on January 15th of 2021. It's still gonna be part of the current season. We're just going to extend that season on into January. And if you already have tickets for Ripcord, it will still apply to a date in that January time slot. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, you will get an email with the new date and time of your ticket. If you've got any questions, you can contact us here at the theater and we will help you with those situations. Now, I am already getting lots of questions about the future of our summer programming here at the theater. We have a full series of summer camps and our main stage production of Beauty and the Beast, which is scheduled to happen in July. We are hopeful that everything will be able to continue on as scheduled. However, we are also realistic and know that changes are gonna to have to be made, but it is still too early to know what those changes are going to be. So I cannot say for sure what the future of our summer camps or Beauty and the Beast is at this moment, but know that we are gonna do everything that we can to make sure that they can continue on as scheduled. We are following all state and federal and local guidelines. We are looking at the CDC. We are following recommendations. We are making changes to how we clean the theater. We are putting forth other health initiatives so that when we do get the green light to reopen, it's gonna be safe to do so. But we don't wanna open the theater until we know that it is gonna be safe for everybody. We're going to have auditions for Beauty and the Beast soon, but we don't want to have auditions for the show until we know what the rehearsal commitment is going to be. And we need at least four to six weeks of good rehearsal time in order to put that show on. Now, to our uh, actors out there, know that the closer we get and the shorter that window gets for rehearsals, we may have to make some changes to the way that we do auditions, casting, and rehearsals. The entire production process may have to change and adjust the shorter the window is that we have to produce that show. But know that I'm working with Jamie, the director of the show, and we are going to 
uh, firm up details. As soon as we have a good plan in place, we will let everybody know what that plan is. So stick with us and be patient until we have those details released. Um, to everybody out there, if you've got questions, that uh, we can help you with here at the theater. We are still open. Our volunteers are still answering emails and responding to voicemails that are left here at the theater from their homes. So you can still call and you can still email us and we will do whatever we can to help you during this time. And we can't wait to see you again when we open the doors soon. The show will go on and I can't wait to see you all back here at the Holly in the next few weeks. Thanks.